Fox Fox, Paul here, and the battery is in and running quite happily. It's been in the car for a couple of weeks now, and there's been no problem whatsoever. I had a problem when I first put it in, and that was it was sitting at 13 volts, which I thought was going to be fine, but the car um, immediately started to, as soon as I turned the car on, it immediately started to try and um, charge it at the car's maximum um, current ability, and it turns out that the onboard charger that charges the 12 volt battery can pump out 110 amps, which is way more than the 80 amp BMS I've got installed. So the BMS tri trips, which shut the car down, which is not what I wanted. So in order to solve that, I have added in series three meters of 12 gauge wire, and that's just enough resistance when added to the internal resistance of the batteries themselves to bring the peak current down to um, a reasonable level. Initially I started with 10 meters uh, and that resulted in, in a peak current of like 5 amps. Then I tried 2 meters and it would peak at about 55 amps and that's a bit close to the to the 80 amps for my comfort. In my perfect world, it would peak about 40 amps, which is half the BMS's rating. So I've got three meters of 12 gauge there. Uh, it's been charging up this old, the old original battery up here um, in parallel. So this battery's been charging that battery, which has had the effect of reducing the voltage on this down to 13.28 it was 13.5 ish and what that means is that when I turn the car on to drive I'll disconnect the old battery so that's no longer connected so it's running off the new battery only uh, when I turn the car on to drive it will try to charge this battery as much as it can with the highest current it can, can deliver based on the internal resistance of the battery so it's that plus this piece of wire it should I'm hoping be around somewhere around 40 amps uh, let's try it and see what happens Thirty-eight, forty, forty-three, forty-two. Oh, this is good. This is about the right ballpark that I was hoping for. Well within the ability of the VMS of the cutout, the eighty amp cutout, and this wire is fine. When it was, um, when I had it connected without this resistor in, in place, my wires were getting pretty warm uh, at 110 amps, so I'm much happier with that. All right, that's good. I think um, that is going to be, uh, I'm going to have to live with that flapping around. I'm going to have to somehow zip tie that down or do something more elegant with that. So my next step is I've got some binding posts, some normal battery binding posts on order. Um, I'll print another version of this top that fits the binding posts and then these will be able to, um, the normal battery clamps will be able to um, clamp on to the binding posts and it will look like it's meant to be there. So I think I think it's it's good. I mean, it's it's a real shame that I have to have this um, here, but the internal resistance in the Lifey Po pack is about half that of the old lead acid pack. Um, so that's what's causing the, the the problem. It's just too good, and the the internal charge controller is not designed for 
um, lithium, very low internal resistance lithium batteries. So this is a wee bit of warmth in there. Um, I've wound it like this in order to make it a little bit of an inductor as well. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers! I'm getting 0.14 amps and the voltage is 313 volts and the lights are on. Turn them off. Yep. Oh, if you want to put it in ACC mode, then the main battery is not doing anything. Oh. <laughs> This is saying one volt. No. That's your battery.